Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to debunk the iPhone mini 13's wallpaper. All right, first step, let's go and select the ellipse tool, the circle, press and hold shift plus R, create a circle. I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select this bottom anchor point, press on the lead, go to the pathfinder, click on unite, or you can go to the windows and select pathfinder if you don't have activated. And from here, I'm going to zoom it in. I'm going to go to the gradient, activate the gradient and check this out from here. We're going to go here. So we have the, this is the linear gradient. We got the radial gradient. And then we have this little thing here, the freeform gradient. So this is what we need. And here in the draw, it might be on points. Make sure it's on lines. I'm going to basically select these and delete them. So I'm left with only with this circle. So I'm going to click on, as you can see, it's going to create a line and I'm going to go here, click and look. So it works uh, almost similar as uh, the pen tool or something like that. So I'm going to zoom in all the way and I'm going to create another point. So I'm going to click and I'm going to create another point right near like that. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to go here and create the four point. Okay. So we got all these points and we basically can recolor them or recustomize them. Uh, I'm going to go and select the points and I'm going to select one of the points and drag it down here. What I'm going to do is double click on the circle and this way we can select the color. I'm going to go with some, I don't know, yellow. I'm going to make it light and it starts to come alive. Actually, I'm going to double click on it and select the hex code, press control C, exit, and I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to double click on this one and type in the hex code, control V. What I also need to do is bring these two dots even more down. So I'm going to select this one and press and hold shift and select this also, but I need to zoom in even more, I think. No, it's good. It's selected. So basically you can bring it down. Uh, starts to come together. So I'm going to press the letter G again and see what's going on. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to click on this double click on and I'm going to change the colors, see what is going on. And I'm going to zoom in on this double click. All right. So from here, I'm going to select it, press and hold alt, drag it down. Also press shift to isolate, make sure to intersect here, press and hold shift, rotate it. And I'm going to bring this where they match perfectly. Good. I'm going to select both press and hold shift rotate it. I'm going to add another background. So this is uh, how you do it. And the main idea is when I press the letter G and this is the trick, you need to make this V shape and you need to, uh, you know, customize the colors of it. So it's going to create this beautiful gradient effect. So this was it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.